Do I want to immediately call anyone in? Probably not. If I just get the capital, we win. So, because it's one city. Let's do it. We're leading our own troops like usual. We're simply a better commander than anything they've got. Okay, the dude in Oxford joined in. We're accidentally going to run into them and decisively beat them. Although I think we have a river crossing? No, we do not. It does not say a river crossing. Oh man, they're going to get annihilated. <laughs> oh, they're not even prepared. They're only high quality, we're elite quality. We double them in knights. We triple them in commander quality. Oh no, this guy is doomed. <laughs> oh, we're wounded though. Oh, come on, even with our good trait? We have a Tent of Care, which is a massive disease resistance health boost, at least. Damn. We're f our health is feeling fine, even with the wound. We're a beast. <laughs> we lost the wounded treatment during the battle. <laughs> our character is ridiculous. T uh, 72 fame for that battle, because we just... It wasn't even fair. Five people! They had five survivors out of all 453 troops. We had 22 deaths. They had 448. We got a paper cut and they got band-aided during the battle. Oh my god. That was basically a stack wipe. Yeah. It was open planes too. That was not a fair fight. And we're walking right to their city and sieging it with our onagers. Well, uh, I'm not calling in any allies on this war. We've already won. Yeah, they didn't call him Elfred the Great for nothing. What the fuck was that? Oh my god, it's been a while since we stopped someone that hard in an individual fight. I guess in fairness we caught them while they were still preparing. Yeah, I feel sorry for the 22 survivors on that one. Because it's like, what did they just see? It must have been like they were funneling in just a line, getting beheaded one by one. Alright, and we took the leader hostage. Well, this war's over. We just doubled our land. This will be known as, for, as the Oxfordshire Massacre. <laughs> I know, right? We just doubled our land in 20 minutes. Okay, how's this city we just took? Uh, development 7, which is actually slightly above average for where we are. No uh, upgraded holdings of any kind, which is a shame. We can get farms and fields here, though. It is on planes. I love getting planes early, because that's where the money's made. Open farmland. Have you ever played the board game Risk? Uh, when I was a kid, yeah. Watching while working from home? That's awesome. Okay. Our money is up to five bucks a month now. We're actually making enough that I think I want to develop the land a little more. Salisbury, I think we want to... Uh, develop more because it's got Stonehenge. We always want it in our realm because that's a world wonder. You can't just build that, you know, it's here and that's where it stays and its bonuses are very, very good. So let's, uh, let's get the farms and fields there early. It'll pay for itself the fastest. And I'm going to hold on to just a little more money because you know, you, you never know when someone's going to declare on you and you're going to need mercenary money. And let's plan out our next war. What internal land can we take here? So they got metal six there, which is where the city of London is. So that's prime land. However, they will call the king in through the alliance, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 99% sure because it's the wife of the king. They will call in the king. I saw people... Um, I saw a few people commenting saying like, Hey, you have a claim on London. Why aren't you taking it? It's... We talked about it a little bit on last stream, but it was, like, right at the end. It's because uh, the queen has that land. She will call in the king, and he does dwarf us, us in troops. If we called in all of our allies, we would have more than him. However, 
They might take forever to get here. I think I want more land before I declare that war, you know? Centralize my power more. Okay, we have more and more vassals who are wanting land. However, do any of them actually dislike us? We're such a di diplomat that I doubt any of them dislike us. Okay, everything else here is a holy war claim. I think we will need to actually fabricate claims. Yeah. Okay, it's time we start fabricating claims. I think I want Kent next, then. It's not super developed, but it's good. They do have crop yields, uh, or sorry, crop fields in the castle of Dover. So that's good money right there, and it's holy land, so I'd love to have that. Is Ken held by a child? Yes, it is. Uh, a four-year-old, so it's probably a regency. I am going to tell my bishop, who's actually quite talented, to start fabricating on Kent. It'll take him about two years. Okay. That gives us time. Let's take a little bit of a break from Conquering to start increasing our county control. Okay, control's the lower in Salisbury. Let's, uh... Okay, we've moved our marshal from training the troops to getting control back in Salisbury to help keep the money, you know? Now, how much money would I make if I were to switch to collect tax right now? It would barely increase it. Okay. Stick with increasing development in what is currently our capital. I am loving that we are now speeding up. Just by having Stonehenge, we're speeding up our experience towards learning. That is awesome. We can search for a physician again. I think we already have a good one, but there's no reason not to search every year. Regencies aren't in the game yet, so it's an actual child in charge. That's hilarious. Now, is this person better than mine? A level two physician. My physician is also level two, but has higher learning. Okay, we'll keep the current one. That's fine. We can call for a hunt. We don't have any stress to get rid of. Maybe we should be doing something right now that would stress us just for efficient use of stress, you know? I don't want to murder because that gives way too much stress because we have multiple traits that are anti-murder. We could blackmail someone. Oh, this person's a competent fighter. Recruit him. Oh my god, no! It costs 220 to pay this guy? Oh my god, that's ridiculous cost for not an amazing fighter. Blackmail for money. Now, I don't currently have any hooks that are worth money, unfortunately. We do have this guy under house arrest, apparently. Oh, I took him into war, didn't I? He is Anglo-Saxon. He still likes us a lot, which is kind of hilarious. I could recruit him to my court. He's not very talented, though. I could release him for a hook. Is he rich? No, he has no money. Fuck. Don't think I can get anything out of this guy. I could just release him, but I don't see a reason for that. Um... He can sit in house arrest for a while. A new translation. More than anything, my quest to be a learned man is teaching me how much I do not yet know. I can completely agree with that. The older I get and the more I learn about subjects, the more I realize that, uh, oh no, like a big part of learning things is that you don't know a lot. And learning about what you don't know. And learning about the depth of what you don't know. And to not speak as an authority. Uh... What more, there must be so much knowledge that has been lost to the ages as books fall apart or languages are forgotten. Perhaps I can contribute by making a new translation of one of the classic works. Although, what would I even translate? Sounds too hard, lose stress. Well, we're already not stressed. If I start trying to translate some Aristotle, though, I get learning and I might end up with a free learning lifestyle trait, which is always valuable. Also, um... Neutral army? Good. Okay, just making sure that's not, like, raiders. I will gladly start translating a book. As a streamer, you're the ultimate authority on all subjects. You should know this already. Oh, ruling neighbor one war. Who is this? King Ivar of Scotland, who is Norse. Great. 
And by the way, he's an amateurish plotter, so he's terrible. Oh god, he's got bad stats on everything. Diligent, impatient, gluttonous. Diligent's a good trait. He beat another Viking? Okay, the Norsemen are fighting each other. Better than fighting me, I guess. I'm getting five bucks a month right now. That's actually really good for this early in the game. First time watching the streams? I get that so much now. It's awesome. Been watching your videos every day since? That's awesome. Okay. New translation. I found myself working on the translation of Perry Sykes? Not sure how you pronounce that. For hours under the flickering light of candle. Often I barely notice time passing. My scribes remind me. However, my lord, it's past midnight now. Is it not time to rest? Hey! You improve it slightly, we'll gain a little bit of experience, and I'll gain a little bit of stress. I can take, let's take this stress and do the hunt to get rid of it. Hell yeah. Ooh. But if I sleep instead, I gain slightly less experience, but I'll, it'll improve the quality significantly rather than slightly. Never mind, no. I would rather the quality come out more. I want the most quality rather than, um, what's it called? Rather than just getting extra stress. And then getting rid of it with the hunt. Quality's more important. Okay, uh, what are the other benefits for calling a hunt? I mean, I could die to a boar, but with our stats, I don't think that's gonna happen, you know? Does kidnapping give us stress? Um, uh, well, almost definitely, considering our traits. We're honest, just, and gregarious. Pretty much any negative plot should be giving us stress. Some petty queen has left a prison. You are known for your dedication to your faith. You must have gone up a level. We're now a devoted servant. Clergy opinion up by 10. Next is Paragon of Virtue, which I think might be the highest level? Oh no, there's a religious icon beyond that, which is the highest. That's pretty cool. Now, now... There is a bonus that we get next perk uh, that will give us learning per level of devotion. If we're level three, that's six learning. That's really good. That's become very valuable. Okay. I think I'm willing to drop some money now on our new, um, on some farmland out here. There we go. Okay, uh, we're a little lower in cash than I'd like to be at one time, but you know. You could send your spy master to a foreign care and, and dig for dirt get hooks easily. Yeah, but then we'd gain like shitloads of stress from it. We, we were doing that earlier in this playthrough, but we found that because of our traits, it would be really bad for, um, it'd be really bad for our stress. Okay. My mortal body. Earl or peasant, high or low, it does not matter. In the end, we're all mortals. I was reminded of this as I woke coughing in the morning, in the early morning hours, a dull headache pounding th uh, through my head and throat. You seem to be under the weather, my lord. I know a fair number of suitable remedies. We do have a very good physician. And we have a trait that makes us so our treatment's better. Uh, yeah, do mo no more than is necessary. It's probably not that bad. What's our health, even? We're feeling fine, overall. Do more- no more than is necessary, and we have a perk point that means that treatment is usually better. A little brighter. The steam rose from the cup as Marger... Margareta, Margareta, Margareta stirred the green powder in it. She explained the healing properties of the herbs at length before monitoring, before motioning for me to drink it. The root is in there too, she boastfully revealed. The bitter herb turned out to be just what I needed. For now, the worst of my symptoms are alleviated and the world seems a little bit brighter. Reduced sim disease symptoms for one year, which is a huge disease, disease resistance bonus. Which means we're still feeling fine. Cool. Bam Margera. 
A new translation, a specific phrase from Perry Sykes, has been frustrating my translation efforts for days. I've even started muttering to myself sometimes, still struggling with that one, are you? <sighs> one sim uh, simply needs to know where to look. I can ask him for help. Either way, it will improve it. It was, it's either slightly or significantly. Or I could spend a little prestige and improve it slightly no matter what. No, there's no reason to do that. This is much better. Help me uncover it. We're on good terms. We're on great terms. And he's afraid of me. <laughs> Help me uncover this, Wigloff. Is he? He's a rational villain. Weird. Weird traits for a bishop. Okay. Let's hope that goes well. I can ask the head of the faith for gold. Hell yeah, I will. <laughs> so cheap to do. Hell yeah, got my money back. Hope you're real loving all the content. Awesome, thank you. Popping in to say hi. Okay. Uh, my neighbors are having wars again. The Norse versus the Catholics. Oh no, the Norse won against the Catholics again. Where is this that this occurred? Right next to me, like usual. Zealous villain, that's not fun. He's zealous, because he's a different religion than me too, and he's almost definitely going to try and holy war me for land. Can you get some more farm? Yeah, we do have some more farmland getting made right now. We've got crop fields in the new land getting cultivated. We could upgrade our, our land a little bit, but again, I don't know how much we're going to be keeping Dorset in the long run. Right now, I kind of just want to hold on to a little bit of money. Search for... for... Nah. Stumbling over my words today. Search for physician. My old self. Ah, we're healthy again! There we go, we lost the ill trait. We're good. Oh, Gaia Lancer came of age. Betrothed to a 58-year-old. That's unfortunate. You're an intricate web weaver, and you're intelligent. Nice. Deceitful, shy, greedy. Shy's a bad trait, by the way. You get stressed from just making people like you. A birthday is tomorrow, and I'm sick. I'm pretty behind the schoolwork. The only reason I'm watching is due to the fact that the schoolwork is making my headache even worse. Sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better soon. That sucks. I haven't been sick in a little while. I'm very happy about that, because being sick is the worst. There we go. Just let them marry. Dude, stop trying to make the stream all about yourself. Come on, man. This is embarrassing. <laughs> there you go. Hate when I have to do it myself. I don't like to call attention to it because that just gives them what they want. But come on, man. It's embarrassing. Just have fun with everybody else. New translation. I'm having the notes for my translation read back to me. When I snap to a sudden understanding. Scribe, add the following commentary. Hmm, what is this? May it lead you down the path of cynicism. It will it will significantly improve the translation. Give me prestige and learning experience. Okay, both will improve this significantly and increase lifestyle experience. It's just one is more zealous and the other one is more cynical. I'm more of a scholar type, to be honest. I think I want to go cynical on this, but at the same time, I want to keep Christendom strong. Ooh. Ooh, that's hard. See, maybe 2,000 of your videos. Jesus, that's a lot. But legit, I have posted 5,700 videos now, I think. Something like that. Uh, we were checking the number the other day. It's actually public if you if you look me up on... What's that website called? Social Blade. Zealous for Holy War. Cynical is kind of a bummer trade, isn't it? I think let's go religious. Hurt me when MDB called it embarrassing. <laughs> Trust me, I won't even remember that he's the one who is spamming by, like, next week. 
it's it's one of those things of like, come on, man, don't 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 ruin it for everybody. And I don't hold it personally against them. It's I get how the internet is. Like, I'm not gonna hold it against you. You know, if he comes back in ten minutes and he's just like, oh, sorry about that, and he's just normal, then whatever, it's normal. People will sometimes like tweet me and they're like, I'm, I, I hope you're not mad at me. We had a disagreement on a comment or a tweet or something at some point. And I'll literally just respond like, don't worry about it, man. It's totally fine. I don't even remember that. <laughs> like, ah, people take internet disagreements so seriously and personally. It's like, okay. Don't worry about it. I, I don't really, I don't hold grudges. All right. 